The president of the International Judo Federation, Marius Weiser, led a ceremony of thanks to the organizers on day two of the Antalya Judo Grand Slam. And the Turkish fans got their reward with the first home gold of the tournament for Vedat Albayrak in the under 81 kilo category. He used his strength and determination to defeat Italy's Christian Parlati in the final. It was uh, so, so important uh, for, for this. All our team or athletes was ready and uh, I hope also that they can take medals tomorrow also. Italy's under 73 kilo Olympic champion Fabio Basili stormed through his preliminaries to set up a tense gold medal final against Turkey's Bayram Kandemir. Basili took the contest and with it his first Grand Slam gold medal. The president of the Turkish Olympic Committee, Professor Ugo Erdeni, awarded the medals. The under 63 kilos final between Lucy Renshaw of Great Britain and Enriquelis Barrios of Venezuela went to a dramatic gold score finale. And at two Shidos each it was Renshaw who won it with a Wazari to claim her first ever World Judo Tour gold medal. The IGF Vice President Sergei Soloveitchik presented the honours. Kim Poling of the Netherlands took gold in the under 70 kilos competition. It was an incredible 24th medal on the World Judo Tour, further securing her place as one of the category's all-time greats. Ahmed Temerci from Turkey's Ministry of Youth and Sports gave out the medals. Well, I'm happy because I needed to come here as a preparation for the Europeans, but also as a preparation to do a bit more tactical judo that I cannot always attack. So actually I'm quite happy with today and I think my, my trainers can be proud because I've done exactly what I needed to do. Turkish athletes were out in force, displaying the incredible passion the home nation has for the sport of judo. Ipon after Ipon, they showed why Turkey has been a regular stop on the World Judo Tour for seven years. Vedat Albayrak's gold medal, presented by Omer Altunsoy from the Turkish Ministry of Youth and Sports, was the icing on the cake. And there's more to come with one more day of competition to go in Antalya.